Welcome to Heartland Holiday. We have three collections left we're going to go through tonight. We're going to do Heartland Holiday. We are going to do Storybook Christmas, and Here Comes Christmas. And I think these last three collections I'm showing you are contemporary. I think they're uh, kind of mainstream Christmas. These are things that are going to relate to many of you in our audience. And just, there's some mainstream Christmas ideas and colors and palettes that are put together, but there's some very explicit pieces within this collection. So these pieces are very unique and I want to make sure that you get to see them. Um, let's start off with our designer tree here in Heartland Holiday. And the first thing you're going to notice is we have our fabric poinsettias back again with the horns tooth pattern on them. And of course these are fabric and it's in the black and white this time. So over in Three French Hens, we had it in the red and the cream, but here we have it in the black. I also want to show you this. Isn't this the cutest felt sweater ornament right here with the snowflakes on it? adorable one. And of course we got lots of reds, lots of black and white ribbons here. Um, we've got the snowman at the top of the tree and we have some wooden snowman art ornaments that say Noel and the other one says Joy. Here's Noel here tucked in under this branch. He's a cutie patootie. Here's the bigger sweater ornament. And then over here we have the Joy. Hello Joy. And then we have a lot of different black and white and red ribbons in this collection. And you're going to be able to see those on our ribbon hanging trees when you see that. Um, but the black and the red buffalo plaid is also very, very popular. And it's been popular for a while, but it's strong in Heartland Holiday. And right here, they put the stocking right on the tree. Isn't that a great idea? Put just a few stems in there, a cute little felt birdie, a bow, and the stocking. How many times do you want to sell more stockings, but you run out of places to hang, you know, you don't have that many chimneys in your store. But just go ahead and put them right on the tree and you can showcase them right there. I also want to show this fabric ornament. It's large and look at that. All the different black, white, and cream on that ornament. We've got some other snowmen in the disc. This is a new one. Looks hand painted. Gorgeous little one. And then we have some returning friends like our disc ornaments with the old vintage black truck. Everybody loves our old vintage black truck. I want to show you this new vintage white truck. This is amazing. This is a showstopper. This is the kind of thing that you can build in a fantastic display out of. And I've seen many people here today taking a look at this. First, they want to see the elf inside there because we've got an elf driving the truck. But it's nice and white. It's not going to clash with any kind of a theme that you're putting together. On the side it says Christmas Tree Farm. Cut your own. I thought that was a pretty good tip too. We've got a little firewood in the back, but you can fill this with presents, gifts, or let's say that you're a children's bookshop. You're going to put some children's books in there. Let's say that you have a specialty. Maybe you do a, a lot of different candles and things like that. You can load your gifts and this display up with a tree maybe coming out of the back but also what it is that you want people to be buying for the holiday season. That's a fantastic store piece. This is something that you need to be thinking about building your whole display around for next holiday. We're going to move on over here to some of our snowmen. And you're going to recognize these from over in the other collection in French Hens. We had these with the red and the cream scarves, but here we've got them with the black and the white, but we still have the intricate detailing on the snowman that we had over there. And again, this is the female, we know because she says joy, and women are always joyful, correct? And the snowmen, see they just carry trees. That's the only way we know the difference. And then these are a little bit bigger. And I love anytime I've got a swinging elf on a giant jingle bell. Isn't that fantastic? We've seen these before in some of the photos that we've done for Melrose, but people love them. We do have giant jingle bells in green, now we've got them in red here in Heartland Holiday. And I like when the elves get a little mischievous. I think they're fun. I think they're fun to decorate with. Um, this guy, he's got his gray and his white coat on. He's all in his little red. He's got a little choo-choo train. But I like these guys. I like taking him here and having him climbing up and climbing over the top of the shelves. I would have these all over. And I'm not sure, Dana, if you can get up there at the top. We see our elf is holding the cardinal at the top. Some of them are waving. Elves are having fun in this display. Love it. We're going to move on over here. Here's the ribbon rolls I was telling you about. Lots of blacks and creams, printed ribbons, but just the checks. Look at that. That's just a classic check ribbon that you can work with. I like this one too on the diagonal, a little bit wider. And then of course, 
you know, red and black. You can't go wrong with that. I like it with the cream. And then this one, look at this one with the snowflake woven. That is an exquisite ribbon here. I really, really like that one. We're going to slide over, show you some new artwork. Um, this is the chickadee. Love the two-sided chickadee disc ornament here. Black and white, subtle. We've got the same vintage black truck that I was showing you on the ornaments on the tree here in the wall art. And here's the ornament. And then, of course, we have it, I'm pretty sure on the opposite side. Here it is. Merry Christmas. And we've got the black truck on the one side. And this one has a little tree. These are exquisite. I love these new trees. Look at that. It's got its own little base. I'm going to bring it down here so Janet can see it. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful little tree. And then we've got something really simple for our wall art. Comfort and joy. Little piece with wooden framing on it. Black with just the white star pop out. And then look at these. These are dimensional. The Noel sticks out and the Merry Christmases sticks out of there. I like that you can stack them. Move them around, stack them, Merry Christmas Noel. They work very well together. The truck is down here on the pillow and he's here on our tray. Classic black Heartland Holiday black truck. Here's our ornament wall, our first one that we have set up for you. Um, of course, you're gonna see the fabric ornaments again. You're gonna see the textured one um, and then the, the horn, hound's tooth that is on the fabric. The wall art here, black and white, you're gonna see that plaid that carries over. Um, we've got the Christmas trees to the Christmas tree farm. Merry, bright, comfort and joy. Pretty straightforward. Hello, Mr. Elf. I like you too. And then I wanna point these out because I just kinda of think it's Heartland and I, and I always like the black and white animals. Look at those little whorl print with the three cows and then I have to count real quick. Three, six, nine sheep. The cute wintry nine sheep. If, you're, if you like that look with the animals, that's very clean and very nice. Now, remember the ribbon I showed you over there that I said was exquisite? How about the having a textile to match? And this is nice and cushy, but this is a good fabric on this pillow. Let's swing over here and let's talk about some more of these baskets. Uh, baskets are trending. We have these in a couple of different collections. Over in Juniper Grove, you're going to see a lot of different baskets. Different than these. These have the black in with them. I was talking to some designers about what they're going to do with these. They said these are the hottest baskets going because they have a unique shape. They're available in the black and the black with the white. They're white with the rattan. But what you do is you hang them on the black fixtures. So if you have some S hooks or you have a rack, you hang one hook, you hang the other one, and then in your store you can use these for displays as well. But in a home, you can put whatever goodies you want in there. You can put this in your kitchen and you can put a little tea towels in there, maybe with some red and black gang, uh, buffalo check. Or in my case, we would have our kids gloves and things by the front door on a rack or something that you came in with. But these are to hang. These are incredibly beautiful. Now down in Dallas, there were some garden centers that were buying these and they were putting their wrapped trees inside of these and dressing up their wrapped trees. So very, very versatile these baskets are. A lot of things that you can do with them. But it is a very hot trend, the different wicker and rattan baskets and the different weaving patterns on them. I mean, there's a total different pattern on these than there is on those top baskets, too. Isn't that nice? And you can hang this one as well. Fill it up with your goodies. Kitchen, bathroom. Can you imagine if you put it in your guest bathroom and you had all your black and white and grays? That would look wonderful. We're going to slide over here and take a look at our snowmen. These are our new snowmen, and we've got the little shorty guys, and then the taller guys, and then Noel and Joy. Very simple, very simple art back there with the black and the white. And of course, you've got the red and the blacks too. And you know, we talked about having the one stocking. This one was over on the tree, but this one's just a slightly different pattern, but you could have both of them. And then we also have some fabrics with these pre-made bows that are real easy and simple to clip on in any of your designs. Here's another one of our ribbon rolls. And this one features just a little bit more of the red and the blacks for the ribbons. These are all interchangeable in Heartland Holiday. I think there's you know, several ribbons that you can work with over here. Let's move on to a slightly different color palette in Heartland Holiday. That's the red, the black, the white. When we slide in here, we're looking at the red, 
the green and the white, <laughs> just a little bit different. And one of the things that we've done is we've kind of made this a little more traditional, homey. Um, it just kind of resonates with me. I live in the Midwest, so you know we've got the red barns um, for our ornaments and our tractors and our trucks. And now I like the little old tractors and the trucks in the gray. But then we brought in something new. And we brought in this whole quilting motif. And I'm a quilter, so I kind of know what they are. If you uh, are not a quilter, that's okay. I'm going to tell you what they are. These are a sawtooth pattern. This is one of the most simple sawtooth star blocks that you can make. And so when you're a new quilter, this is kind of the beginning. This is kind of how you learn how to do that. And this is the sawtooth part right there. And then you do it on each side. So peace and joy on those. You see that again on the cow and on the wall art. And this disc, and again, it's not circular, but this is a disc ornament raised in the middle. And we have the cow and the pig and the chicken. We have this ornament with the same sawtooth and then we have some different ones here. These are a little more complex, but again, disc ornaments. And then over here on this wall art, I want to point this out. These are very nice. In the, if you are in the Midwest or you know you have quilters, some people will like it just because it's red, white, and green, and it's Christmassy. Other people will know that this is a blazing star, and that's a carpenter's wheel. And back in the 1930s when farmers' white quilt blocks came out, these were kind of complex patterns for them to make because they have the angles that they had to sew. And so for quilters, these are top notch for them to do and a little bit more complex than this. So they'll like that wall art. Over here we have our tree and you can see we have big lantern, big red lantern right into the tree, the big jingle bells. We've got our elves with actual jingle bells that we can jingle on them. Uh, our red clip-on lights that you can just turn on and off with your remote so you don't have to worry about plugging them in or anything. And then our quilting ornaments are on this tree too. Our little elves are in our little sleigh. Do you remember the metal sleigh that we had over the three French hens? It was red and white. This one is gray and white. So it's kind of a weathered finish. Kind of got that galvanized look to it. Kind of like these galvanized trees and this one next to it. Very nice. The red, the white is here in this new wall art that we have. We've got the wreath, the joy, and the Mary. And then of course, this large piece that goes with. Countdown calendars are trending. And we have a lot of countdown calendars here in this collection. And these are made out of metal. This is a laser cut metal. And you just move your little tree along. This one back here, same kind of thing. And we've got the little cutout letters. Red and green, and then the red and green here. These little pottery pots come with the tree in it, and these just sit right down flat. Peace and joy. Hello, birdies. I like the little birdies, too. They're just a favorite of mine. I like this little simple wood cut wreath with the holly leaves and the berries. Isn't this different? This is a wreath, but you don't have the greenery. You have the wood cut instead. Isn't that different? I like it. I think it's kind of, I don't know, just different. Let's move back here. We have some more countdown calendars here and we have the barn one. And the barn one is something that everybody is taking a look at. You've got a little marker here. So when you get started, you can mark your early days and then down here for your later days. Kids love doing the countdown calendars at Christmas time. It's a very trending idea. Here's one of our red trucks, metal trucks, again, are big in Heartland Holiday. But you know what else is big in Heartland Holiday? Farms and farming. And these are our snow globes. And I'm going to pick it up and turn it on for you so you get a chance to see it kick on. And it's going to get going. <laughs> it takes a little while to warm up, probably when we're walking by. But these are going to be hot this year as well. And then here is Santa in the metal truck and then the little TV in the back. And so these, um, also snow globes for you. We're going to move on past our wheelbarrow shelf to these. And these are just a kind of a fabric woven with red that you could work into your tree, just like you did the houndstooth with the black and white, but you could use this red and this kind of a natural color. And now, we're leaving Heartland Holiday and we're getting into the land of the gnomes. And so many of you have commented on how many mushroom ornaments we have and how many gnomes we have because everybody likes gnomes and they're fun. And this is part of Storybook Christmas. 
And Storybook Christmas is all about those magical different critters and creatures that come out to play with us. And we've got one of the gnomes here in a snow globe that is turned on for you to see. And then we have all these little, look at these little round and they're heavy sit here a little bit larger ones and i always like the gnomes with the skinny little legs you know why they can sit on a shelf just like that they can sit on the shelf in your store you can let them dangle they're just fun to play with but these are the coolest ones that we have here check these guys out they've got a little heavy weight in them a bouncy little leg with little candy cane legs and then they're sitting on their hand and their beard hangs over very cute ones but they're good on a shelf just like that so they're a pair they're, they're kind of matched a little bit um, green hat red sweater red hat green sweater but those guys are fun to put different places and I I like them I'm gonna show you some in a little bit they have them on a tree but I also like them on the garlands and hanging on your shelves in your retail establishment let's move this direction <laughs> we'll come back to gnomes we're gonna work in a circle Here's our, here's our guys that are hanging on the shelf, but now they're up on the garland and they're kind of coming down at us. I mean, you can get really creative. You can have these guys coming all around on your different shelves. They are fun. And then you've got a gnome here right in the center that's, that's more of a resin piece. If Janet can get the camera up that high, he looks great. And then on this top shelf, we have all these new fun resins of different snowmen and different Santas and different green trees. Now the green trees, these are doing very, very well. They've got a little bit of glitter on them and a little bit of white set of four. On this next shelf down, you're gonna notice that everything has a slightly different look to it because everything has a white, a watercolor finish to it. So you see the bright colors, the green, the red, the blues are in here, but they have that little, like it's been painted with a watercolor. And Santa, I, I don't know what's up with Santa, but here he's in a plane. Here he's in a car with some kind of iron wheels. Here he's in a truck. He's getting around, isn't he? And over here, he's on a scooter. So I consider this Santa's transportation shelf. This is all how he gets from place to place. But if you know anybody that has their pilot's license, Santa in the plane, and if you know anybody who has a scooter, Santa on a scooter would be an excellent gift. And we have Santa with his reindeer, and we have Santa over here on a polar bear because, you know, if you can't get by with your wheels, why not ride a polar bear? That sounds great. Another couple new items that we have here before we move from these shelves, I want to show you the melting gnomes. Isn't that funny? It's just a pile of snow or is it a gnome <laughs> so we have the melting gnomes and we have two of them the shorter one and the taller one and those are new for you this season and then here's some more of our watercolor and this was more of the inspiration when you think about your art on the wall and watercolor look at these trees aren't those cute like the, the little drawings and we have three of the disc ornaments again in square a little bit more modern instead of the round but just as effective. Very cute. We're gonna slide around a little bit more. I wanna tell you about this goose. It's Mama Goose, and she's got her little baby goose with her. And then we've got these geese. I, I, this might be Daddy Goose, and he's, he's got a little, little son with him. I don't know why they're, they're Daddy Goose instead of Mommy Goose, but I'm just gonna decide that that's what it is. Um, cute, this one's got a sweater on him and this one's got your scarf. This one's got a little sweater and this little guy's got a scarf. And they match our birds, really. Um, I like to have our little animal friends. Anybody from, this, from the storybook that would be part of a story in a children's storybook, you're gonna find in Storybook Christmas. Here's our ornament wall. And again, Janet can zoom right in here and show you guys some of the ornaments that we have. You're gonna find lots of the mushrooms. Why do you find the mushrooms? Because this is where the gnomes live and the gnomes like to hang out with the mushrooms. We have this one that's got the actual beard on it that's layered and he's got his little feet that go out to the side and then a smaller version. And then this one's got the little mushroom on his head. That's always cute. These are different. Um, these are in kind of a raised embossed on this kind of nice heavy pottery um, ornament. And we've got the long one and we've got the round one. And then these are dimensional, the mitten and the cap. You can't quite tell that if you look at it flat on the wall. The other thing you can't tell if you're looking flat on the wall or looking at these two norm 
gnome ornaments and their little noses that are raised and their little cap balls right like that. See how they pop right out of the ornament? Very cool. And then I, d I would be remiss if I didn't tell you about the geese. So we have some kind of crazy storybook geese here. This one's going to go skiing. That one's got snowshoes on and this one's flying around with a wreath. So these guys are direct from a story um, and they're included in storybook Christmas. Some of my favorite ribbons when I went through the ribbon wall were these because they feel like knitted scarves. Isn't this neat? I love these. You can do so many different things with this. Really get creative. Dress anything up in your store. Love that one. That just seems like a scarf by itself, doesn't it? And then, of course, Merry Christmas. And this one's got your trees and your mittens. Over here, we have some of our new table accessories. We have the gnomes. And you remember we saw Janet reached way up on the top of the shelf and you got to see these gnomes. One's carrying a present, one's got a tree. These guys great pairing got to have a little mushroom with them though i think you, if you have these gnomes or these gnomes they each need a mushroom so make sure you get your mushrooms with your gnomes and we have these wonderful fox and we have um well we got the fox and we have the deer and we have the bear cute 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 and this collection i'm going to finish by showing you the designer tree i know we usually start with that but it just kind of worked out this way um, next to our designer tree, we have our Merry Christmas train. We have a black train that's available and we have a red train that's available. Um, that's one of ours right there. And that one has the cutouts for the candles with it. And then we have more of our gnomes that are lying down in the tree. We have gnomes on the tree and some of the ornaments that I showed you on the ornament wall. Very red, very green, lots of mix of reds and greens. That's why I said this is a traditional Christmas collection. And you know, with Storybook, we relate to the kids, but it's definitely a different type of traditional thing that fits in many different environments. And now we're going to move one more time, Janet. You ready? And this is what I would consider a modern, eclectic, Christmas. This is bright red. It's encrusted magnolias. And we've got the bright, bright greens. We have big wreaths. We have big garlands and across our fireplace. And then, you know, you've got the traditional red drop ornaments here. And we have our red train, the North Pole Express. And so we've had this in black before, but this is our train in red. And you can fill your carts with all kinds of ornaments and decoration. I also want to point out that we have some of our best-selling lanterns showcased here. And right here we have the set of three that are glazed metal with a round top. This round top design is very, very popular for Christmas. This set of three is available in this color red and a soft, soft green. Our designer tree is here and we have something that's kind of hidden and a wonderful value for you for your store. If you're looking for something that's ready to go directly in the tree, look at this. This is a wreath piece, a lantern, and a candle that is one piece. It's all together. All you do is put it in your tree or put it on your table, and it's ready to go. But if you're really looking for something creative to do with it, you can put it all the way at the top of your tree. And we use this lantern, wreath, and candle set and we just popped a little bow on the top and it's the top of our tree isn't that a great idea it's just ready to go and so if you have those customers that walk in the store and they want something ready to go to change their look take a look at this value lantern wreath and candle set lots of glass ornaments lots of traditional shaped ornaments the scallop shape that rolls around with the green and the red and the gold this one with the sparkly red and the white the cardinal is here again the cardinals symbolize our loved ones at Christmas time. The marble ornament is here again. We've seen that in another collection. And of course, look at the Santa with the beautiful snowy scene on his on his skirt. Isn't that nice? Got a lot of little little green shiny, and we've got the cardinals the same way. We've got the ice on the magnolias and the sparkle holly leaves. This is traditional modern, bright green, bright red type of ornamentation. And it wouldn't be complete unless we had more clip-on 
LED, turn them on and off with your remote candle light. <laughs> We're going to swing on around here and take a look real quick at some of the other traditional things that we're going to find in Here Comes Christmas. Lots of strong red, lots of strong green. Again, these are traditional things. These are going to be available for most any of your customers. This is the kind of thing that fits into most stores. This is the example of the lantern, the cantle, and the wreath in one piece. It is actually one piece. When you buy it, it's ready to go. That makes it really easy and simple. I'm going to show you these three. Um, again, the glass lit trees are trending and hot. This is something that everybody's looking for in different different finishes. Um, this one's a little lighter color than what we saw with the champagne gold. Um, nice set here. Very pretty. And we're going to move on around to the merry and bright. <laughs> and we have some new votive candle holders. Uh, votive candle holders are always popular at Christmas time, but these have that nice frosted glass just with a simple red bow, a little bit of gems on there, and then your candle on the inside. These are good value as well. This is our ornament wall for Here Comes Christmas. I will point out, this is where you're going to find the simplest um, holly leaf and berry sets that we have in the garland and the wreath. Um, traditional green. None of the greens are off in, in this collection. These are traditional with a strong red. A lot of the other collections we have a slightly different hue of the green color. So if you're looking for just a standard ready to go, that you're going to find that here. Again, the cardinals are here, and the cardinals represent those that, you know, some people say if you see a cardinal, it's someone that you knew in the past that had passed on, and at Christmas you often see them. So a lot of people like to decorate with the cardinals on their Christmas tree at Christmas time. And so we have many of these glass cardinal ornaments, and then look at the, the male and the female. You rarely see the female on an ornament. She's a little bit more brown colored, and you just don't see her that often. She's also up here on this disc ornament the female with the male pairing. Something that's brand new is this traditional idea of the knit sweater on an ornament. And again, you would think these are fabric from looking at them, but they're not fabric. They're for more firm, more of a resin type surface. And then that carries over here to some of our really fun things. We have these birds with little red sweaters on them. And these are similar to what we had in Warm Winter Wishes. In Warm Winter Wishes, we had these in like an ivory color. But look at the pattern. It looks like it's just perfect little sweater. But again, it's a resin. It is not actually a fabric. If you're looking at it, you think it's going to be fabric. We've got them on the reindeer. And then we have these cool pots. And the pots, you can fill these up with any kind of treats. I, I even would put candy canes or something like this in it at my house. But um, you've got the small, medium, and large in each color, the reds and the greens. And then if you drop down one more shelf, you'll just see the opposites. You'll see that we have the birds in the green sweaters, and we have the reindeer in the red, and then we also have the joy and the Noel. And I'm gonna point out the cardinals one more time. Now we talked about these cardinals, and I'll lift them up, Janet. We have these over in snowdrops, and they have these really big boots, these black boots, but these little skinny legs, and these are so super cute. So we have, um, a set of three, they all have different hats on their heads, but these are wonderful. Okay, and so we're going to go over, uh, we have a few more greeneries to show you that are different here. Um, this one's got a velvet touch to it, and our analysis plant also is sitting inside of one of these joy pots. Okay, and then we're going to move over here to see some more of our new stems and picks and our holly wreath that is again, traditional green and traditional red berries. And then we have an entirely bright red armalysis wreath here and that is completely new and it's gonna be up here above the ornaments on the ornament wall that Janet is going to show you. Okay, and then um, 
The last of the ornaments here that are just a little bit new and different are gonna be on the wall. Again, this marbling effect on the set of three is very popular. These are a new thing for us. And our last, last table of the last 13 collections, can you believe this, is right here with us. We have the Armalysis candle ring, and then we have the snowy deer, and we have this sewn table runner right here. And the table runner matches the pillows with the gemstones. And this is ribbon stitched again. I love ribbon stitching. I value anything that's craftsmanship that is a little bit better than the average thing that you see. And this is sewn with the ribbons. Beautiful. All comes together on the cardinal tree and with all of our tinsels. Again, tinsel trees do not uh, leave any kind of residue on you as opposed to like a glitter tree. And then our little lit green trees as well. I want to thank you for joining us. We've had a great time with you here tonight. This concludes our 13 collections. We hope that you watch all of them. We will put these on YouTube. We'll put them on Instagram. We'll put them on LinkedIn. And we'll even send them to you if you ask us. So we're going to have these available to you. Make sure that you check out all the collections for 2021.